in this video i will explain that if you want to change the domain shape and uh, then what is the procedure to change the domain shape and uh, make the new domain as your uh, default domain okay so right now you can see that we have the two uh, uh, body of influence in the registry boxes which i they are they are separate bodies okay so they don't interact with the main domain they just go to the machine software and in the machine software machine software just creates the uh, some volumetric refined mesh in, in those regions so they, they really don't interact so they, we don't want, need to be worrying, worrying about uh, these two regions so now see that right now I have the like a semicircular domain on the inlet uh, and straight domain on the outlet and also the flat domain on the sides so let's say I want to create a domain circular domain uh, maybe I need to simulate the side slip angle in that case uh, maybe I need to have the domain shape like this one but otherwise uh, uh, we don't need really this domain this domain is okay if you want to simulate the different angle of attacks even with the like uh, symmetry uh, model half model the this domain shape is enough but anyhow we want to like uh, make a domain shape like this one okay so the first thing is that uh, this is my habit that I uh, don't delete the main body that is over here okay one more thing is that to explain the uh, process I should be hiding the world origin okay so I don't delete the main bodies I just uh, suppress them right click here and uh, like activate for physics now they will be activated and suppress them and they will not be exported for the uh, like uh, the, the softwares like a machine software and subsequently for the CM simulation so now is the time to actually display them and then right click here and activate them okay secondly this enclosure that enclosure has the surfaces of the our body only surface not a solid body so right click here and simply de delete them okay the next body which I created is like a, a hemisphere on the inlet and it is uh, like a cylindrical uh, not the straight cylindrical but it's the, like a area is increasing towards the outlet like this okay so this shape is there and you can see the missile is or the projectile is very very small inside and why I need to have this domain actually for supersonic flows we don't need a, these big uh, domains uh, even uh, at the inlet the one or 0.5 times the length of the uh, our main geometry is enough just to give the some space to simulate the flow and just allow some space for the shock wave formation otherwise we don't need the big bigger domains for supersonic flow this type of domains are required when we want to run the simulations on the subsonic flow up to the supersonic flows okay so now the question is that how to now make this domain as a new domain so I will go to the prepare menu and we have the enclosure option and uh, I will choose the main body this main body is here then uh, we have the like uh, uh, if you want to go with the like enclosure type default the, the built-in feature which are box uh, cylinder and the sphere in that case uh, we can use them okay so for example here uh, we selected the body okay and uh, then select the box and it they can be asymmetric means that the, we can have this we can set the dimension on the four sides cylindrical or the spherical okay and spherical domain are maybe are uh, useful when we want to simulate the only with the pressure for field so uh, from any direction we can give the angle of attack okay that's the one one case so but in this scenario we have a custom shape that is built uh, we built by ourselves that we are will be explaining the some other videos this is our 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 shape so i want to simulate this geometry this is my custom shape select the custom shape and it should give you the the green tick mark if not then just select the geometry again now you can see that we have the green tick mark so simply click on the green tick mark and that what 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 does it mean by the this uh, include command this will actually uh, this will actually remove the material equivalent to the body inside from the our main domain and uh, secondly it will just keep the surfaces here where we can actually simulate the flow over the body and this body uh, is still there we can suppress that body again as usual and then un 
and then uncheck the, uh, the the zone and this will hide the body you can see clearly that we have now uh, this body only surfaces are displayed here okay the next step definitely would be the boundary conditions or we call them name selections here so i am going to select the this surface and uh, this surface as the my inlet and uh, this one is going to be the outlet so you can hide them okay next thing is that uh, actually uh, when you want to simulate the flow so we need a refinement regions uh, on the different zones here now in the ICM CFD which I usually work they don't require them to be on the different uh, boundary conditions uh, name should be given but if you use the fluid meshing, fluid meshing required because it does not have the uh, user interface here you can select the geometry by from the screen with the help of mouse. So we need to provide the boundary condition name so that we can select them in the fluid meshing. So in that case you can select like a different names here and put the name like for example the no spawn. Okay. Similarly we can say it's a cylinder number one like that okay so in this way we can have a different bonding condition so i hope that the idea is clear now that how we can change the domain shape without having to work too much okay so you cannot display all of these faces you can also make them the transparent okay so i hope that you like the video thank you very much